The US Coast Guard is dropping food and water for these Cuban migrants. However, it's already too late for them. But it's not what you think. For over two decades, the United States relied on wet feet, dry feet policy. That is, if Cuban migrants were intercepted at sea wet feet, they would be deported. But if they made it to shore dry feet, they would qualify for legal permanent resident status. As you can imagine, Cubans were eager to step foot on American soil at all costs. One time, the Coast Guard used pepper spray and water cannons to prevent six Cubans from reaching the beach and claiming dry feet status. Another time, the Coast Guard decided to bring ashore a six-year-old boy and two other survivors rescued, even though they had wet feet. In 2006, 15 Cubans climbed onto a piling of the old seven-mile bridge in Florida Keys that was disconnected from land. The Coast Guard ended up deporting them, although a federal judge reversed that decision later that year, and 14 of those 15 Cubans were given migrant visas. In 2017, President Obama ended the wet feet, dry feet policy, so now any Cubans coming to the US illegally are subject to removal.